Hello YouTube, this is Boba7772 and today I'm here to show you my Star Wars The Clone Wars action figure review of the new Star Wars The Clone Wars uh, Toys R Us exclusive Stealth Operations Clone Trooper uh, aka Commander Blackout uh, I'm pretty sure it's Blackout so uh, without further ado, let's get started first you can see the packaging is very nice um, it comes with uh, the Galactic Battle card the Galactic Battle dice. It comes with the stand, obviously, uh, which I will also, I will show all this stuff in a minute. It comes with the figure itself, the weapon, and a secret code. And that's all we can see from the box. Um, it says includes blaster. Uh, and then on the back, I'll let you look at it for a second while I read. Okay, I'll read. Okay. A seasoned veteran of many covert military operations, the Stealth Operations Clone Trooper shows a rookie trooper how to survive the dangers of stealth combat missions, particularly one led by Anakin Skywalker. A routine relief operation uh, turns into an all-out fight with a ruthless enemy. The battle-hardened trooper is tough on recruits to make them ready for unexpected attacks and able to jump into action. So yeah, that was uh, pretty much what it says. Uh, pretty much it is Commander Blackout. Uh, once again, sorry if I get this wrong, but I still think Black Commander Blackout is a cool name if that's not it. It's something like that though. Um, so yeah, a really cool figure. Um, one last thing, the little Toys R Us exclusive sticker on it, it's different than the uh, last one. And uh, I have seen some of the, uh, as you can see in my other video, my haul from the Toys or not really haul, just pretty much shopping thing from Toys R Us, since this is all I bought. Uh, there were some packs that had this little sticker, and some packs that had the other sticker. Uh, so yeah, I like this one better, especially since these come with the... Uh, Clone Wars Avenger things. I like playing that game. The card commander uh, is what I usually get. Um, so, anyway, I will open this up. Okay, there is the box. Got the figure out, the weapon out, the stand out. Oh great, the dice rolled away. Oh well, you guys all know what the dice looks like. Okay, um, let me set this figure up. Okay, uh, so far I really think that this figure is cool, especially the decal on him. Uh, the paint job is just great. Uh, that's probably the best part of the whole figure. Uh, uh, he does have a few flaws that I've seen, uh, mainly that it is, uh, well, I'll get into that in a second, but I will say one thing, it is a Commander Stone, uh, repaint, pretty much, from the neck down, uh, so, let's get him on the stand, ooh, okay, okay, there we go, so, uh, not, you know, just pretty much standard trooper. He looks pretty good, though. Uh, it comes with the uh, uh, dice. It comes with this uh, little code card for Clone Wars Adventures. Uh, with a code on the back. Uh, rated E and stuff. It um, comes with this awesome Stealth Ops card. For the Galactic Battle game, it has a really nice picture of him. Like, really cool. I can't quite tell where that is because it's a little bit dark. But it kind of looks like there's a. No, never mind, I'm not going to say anything stupid. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, this figure is really nice. Uh, I will get on the, to the articulation. Um, okay. 
So, first thing about this figure, it has a ball-jointed head that rotates around 360 degrees, and it is quite loose, actually. Um, the shoulders rotate around 360 degrees, and uh, because of the limited shoulder pad, because of the shoulder pad, it only limits how far the arm can move out. Uh, the uh, socket that is the elbow uh, lets the uh, arm move around 360 degrees and bend downward, and the hands uh, also rotate around 360 degrees. Uh, the waist at the upper belt rotates around 360 degrees. The legs can make him sit, but, uh, and can also move backwards, as so. <clears throat> the knees, uh, rotate around 360 degrees and then backwards. And I do not believe, nope, the feet have no articulation. Uh, so, yeah, uh, kind of disappointing, but, you know, that's how all the clones are now, so. I guess it's to be expected. <clears throat> now, um, my thoughts on this figure, it's really nice, though it's a repaint of the, uh, what is it, Geonosian, uh, Trooper from the, uh, Target Exclusive 2-pack. I think that that's kind of humorous that the sculpt has been released only twice, uh, and one is a Target Exclusive and one's a Toys R Us Exclusive. I kind of find that, a uh, little bit funny, humoring. Um, the head is incredibly loose. I don't know why. I just got it like this, and it is really loose, so that's a bummer. Uh, the hands barely hold the guns. That's also a downside. Uh, maybe it'll hold the longer DC blaster better, but didn't come with that, unfortunately. Although in the episode, we really don't see him with the gun, but all clones pretty much, you know, it's implied that everyone has a gun on them. <coughs> So, uh, the f ankles have no articulation, but I don't believe he has a problem standing. This is just not a solid surface, so, um, let's try. Yeah, he actually stands pretty good on his own, so the, uh, ankle factor is, uh, you know, it it's a downer, but it's okay. Um, some parts I really like about this, the, uh, decal they put on it, uh, it's like a completely gray figure with areas of light gray and areas of dark gray, as you can see on the knee pads are dark and on the legs are light. Uh, they have this awesome emblem on his shoulder. Uh, actually, both shoulders. On the helmet, they have, uh, it's pretty much identical on each side, the exact same thing. They have, like, little tally marks. I believe there's, what, four of them on each side? Yeah. And then there's this little, uh, the layer ears are surrounded by a red coating of paint with a black dot in the middle. And then there's a stripe, yellow stripe, surrounded by dark gray going down the, uh, middle of the helmet. So, yeah, this figure is really cool. And another cool thing about this figure, good, uh, Toys R Us is razor prices, as everyone knows. If you get it in stores, the main figures are, uh, I'm not sure if they're $8.99 or $7.99 or $8.99. I think they're uh, $8.99. But uh, the, Stealth of Tro the Stealth Ops Trooper is actually $1 less than the other Troopers, which I found surprising because the Nick Dugard and Cole Tesco were both more expensive. But this figure is actually cheaper. So I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Aside from this, they've also gotten the new waves in. Uh, not the new, new, new waves with Eth Koth or Snow Plocoon Savage Opress. Uh, but they have got, or they haven't gotten the vintage wave, which stinks, because that's the only place people have found them. But my Toys R Us at least got this guy in, and I was happy to find that. Uh, and he really wasn't that overpriced, if overpriced at all, because uh, this guy was a great deal, in my opinion. So yeah, if you see him at your Toys R Us, I would highly recommend getting him. I'd probably rate him a 4 out of 5, because, uh, well, as a flaw, as I said earlier, pretty much the loose helmet, although that might just be mine, and the limitation on articulation, and how he cannot hold a gun too well, and if I haven't said this yet, the helmet is way too loose, and if I haven't said that yet, just putting it through, uh, emphasis on it. Because... It's how the figure is, and it kind of stinks that it's like that. So, yeah. Other than that, it has great decal. decal. 
great paint job everything has, bro. I think this is a really nice figure, and I would recommend maybe putting, uh, using this sculpt more, maybe fixing up the hands a little bit, because uh, that's really the only uh, big problem I see on here. But other than that, it's great. So yeah, uh, last time, if you find this at your local Toys R Us, definitely recommend picking them up. They only had two. And I should have gotten both of them, but I didn't. Uh, if I go again and they have him, I will get the other one, because he is really cool. And cheap. So, yeah. Comment, rate, subscribe, and all that stuff. Uh, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you. Bye.